welcome to another installment of Deboroni Dinners. We're back at it again. This time we're going to make guacamole. Um, you can see we've got the avocados. I don't put a lot of ingredients in here because um, the avocados are really good. You want them to taste fresh. Um, we're going to start off, I roll them around a little bit. Um, when you buy them, you want to make sure they're a little soft, but you don't want them too mushy. You don't want them real hard. I will tell you that um, it's kind of iffy what they're going to look like inside. We're going to hope these are good ones. I usually start cutting them this way. And I just go all the way around the avocado. Um, that, we got lucky. That's a good one. I kind of just slipped my finger in there because I rolled it around on the counter first. It kind of loosened it up from the skin. We're going to do the same with this other half. Peel that off. There is a seed in there. I usually just take my thumbs and pop that out and stick that in there. We're going to do the same with the other three, or sorry, the other two. Okay, so we've got our avocados peeled from their outer casing. Again, we kind of rolled them on the counter. That kind of helped them separate from the skin. I cut them lengthways and I just kind of push them out of their skin. This is a total of three avocados. Um, the next step we're going to, I usually put a little bit of um, seasoning on it before I start smashing it. We're going to start off with black pepper. I don't overdo it because the avocados themselves, these are nice fresh ones. They have a nice flavor. So I just sprinkle a little bit. Um, this is basically a, an all seasoning. It is saying red fajita, but it's basically an all seasoning. I just put a little tiny bit of that. Um, I do add a little salt. I don't use a lot of salt in my cooking, but this time I do. Um, this is just regular table salt. It's a nice giant, um, nice giant uh, shaker. We're going to have to hide this when Grandpa Gilmore comes over. You know who you are. You know you're not supposed to have salt. Just kidding. Okay, so we just give a little bit of a sprinkle. Um, this is what you're going to want to search for when you come to our house, Grandpa Gilmore. Going to hide it like an Easter egg. All right, so this is with the seasoning on it. I'm going to mash it with a masher. I usually use a metal one, but I forgot to bring it over, so we're going to hope that this one works pretty good. So basically we're just mashing around in here, getting this. This one's not too bad. I might actually steal this and take it back to my house. Oh, this works pretty good. I do like this one. This is going to be known as the avocado masher from this point out. The one I use is normally metal, but this one's working quite nicely. You just want to kind of gush it around in there. Okay, so it's nice and mushy. If you want to get a look at that. And the next step, you can uh, put usually... Uh, pico de gallo in. I don't have any so I'm going to put a little salsa in and some fresh onions and a little bit of sour cream. So I'm going to put a little bit of the fresh onions in. Not a whole lot because sometimes people don't like the onions in there but had I had pico it would have some onions in it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the onions in there. We chopped these earlier off camera. I'm sure everybody knows how to cut up onions. So I'll go ahead and put the lid on that. And then um, I'm going to get another spoon for these so we don't have cross contamination. I'm sure it's not going to hurt anything either way, but why take a chance and might as well do it properly. I'm going to stir up the salsa and this is about a tablespoon. Just kind of put it there 
and then we're gonna put one more in. And I'm just using my lid as a spoon rest. And if you've seen some of my other videos, I don't like to waste a lot of extra dishes. Got lots of work to do around the house. We don't need extra dishes. And so the sour cream, I'm using a new spoon. I'm doing about a tablespoon worth. I'm gonna stick that in and then another basically half. And then we're gonna take our masher again. I didn't wash it in between because it's going back in here. We're just gonna kind of mash this around. Mash. I may have put too much sour cream in here, but it'll taste good either way. Okay, so just to recap, we're finished mixing. This is what the end result looks like. Um, we basically, I put three avocados in there. Um, I put a little bit of onion, a little bit of hot sauce or uh, salsa little bit of sour cream and then you know you don't want to overpower it but I put a little spices um, I really like this giant salt shaker here and Mr. Gilmore I was just kidding you've got a birthday on August 3rd so you will be getting this as part of your gift um, don't tell Gisela and um, we're gonna let my beautiful daughter Melody also known as Daisy Beretta give this a little try Melody do you want to come try this yes bring your chips I'll put some in a little bowl for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me know how that tastes. Of course. Aren't you delicious, Mom? Is it? Do you like it? Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching this episode of Deboroni Dinners. Today we made basically Deboroni guacamole is what we're going to call it. I want to thank everybody for watching. I ask that you please like comment subscribe again you know at this point nobody's sponsoring me these are just ingredients that we enjoy using every day and i want to give a special shout out and thanks to my son-in-law glenn peters he's the one that uploads these videos he edits them directs them everything else to help them look a little bit nicer <laughs> thank you again